So this and this arrived the other day, the Surface Pro 7, Core i7, 16 gig RAM, 256, of, 256 gigabyte of storage, and the, the stylus. Specifically, let's talk about this for game development. Like I said before, any machine will do. You don't really have to go out and get a new one. The reason I got one is just because my old one was failing. The screen starts flickering after about 15 minutes of use. Weirdly enough, I haven't gotten it to replicate once this came in. It seems to work fine now as soon as the new, the new laptop replacement arrived. But yeah, it was driving me nuts and I think I was going insane watching the screen flicker or it was just like flickering by one pixel and it was just enough to make me think, Am I, is, are my eyes going nuts? But it was the actual defect in there and can't do anything about it. It's almost impossible to repair and the replacement, whatever cost, this is, uh, this is what, uh, this is what will replace it. I do have the type cover. This came, well not came, I bought this type cover with the Surface Pro 4. I'm having trouble saying that, the Surface Pro 4. And the good thing about this is that it works perfectly with the Surface Pro 7, the latest Surface Pro model. And as you can see, this pen is magnetically attached and stays on there pretty securely. For the most part, it'll come off if you shear it like that, but there it is, it stays on. So just a little bit about the device itself. It has a headphone jack, the magnetic power charger, USB-A and a USB-C. Has that neat little kickstand prop to prop up the tablet and a port for your micro, right there, port for your micro SD memory card. I really love the form factor of the Surface Pro. They're really light and they're very tablet-y like, and it does come with a full operating system on there. It's got Windows 10 Home that came with it. However, immediately I upgraded to Surface. I upgraded it to the Windows 10 Pro edition just because Hyper-V and my work with Docker, Docker for Windows just uh, is a little bit better with the Pro version. The alternatives would have been going for something like uh, Razer or going with Dell or something, but I was just comfortable with the hardware and uh, I didn't really want to veer away from it. Another option I could have went with was towards the Mac. I have a bunch of Macs already, but in terms of portables and laptops, Apple has fallen really far behind the competitors with their MacBook Pros and their um, MacBook Pro 15, or sorry, MacBook Pro 16 and 13 inch models. I really hate the touch bar and I will never buy a MacBook with that physical touch bar. I have one that was issued for me from work and it's just terrible. I have the old one with the really crappy keyboards and I'm just really unhappy with that, uh, the MacBook Pros. So without spending something like $3,000 to get an, an Apple machine. Uh, this was significantly cheaper, although still fairly expensive at around, uh, I think this one spec'd out after taxes and everything, about $2,000. It's still $1,000 without tax, cheaper than the Apple offering. Uh, the only downside without going towards the Apple and OS, OS 10 ecosystem is that I can't test and I can't really develop for Macs on this. Um, mostly because you need a MacBook Pro, you need to have Xcode and all that other stuff in order to deploy onto an iOS device or even onto the Mac. So this really only gets me going for the most part on the Windows and possibly the Linux ecosystem. So. The pen is also a, a cool thing about the Surface Pro line. 
this one that I have is an upgrade over the old pen in that it has tilt, um, it has tilt sensitivity, and it also has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity versus 1,024. So it has a little bit better pen control in that aspect. It'll allow me to, um, the, the pen control will allow me to work in the art applications. Uh, not that I'm a great artist or anything, but uh, you know, it's maybe one day, it's got a camera stupidest thing ever but whatever it's there it's got a front camera also more useful than the back camera but whatever that's part of the hardware that's going to go towards game development and uh, i'm excited about the pen especially because i'm going to be doing my own art and it's going to look crazy because programmer art is usually crazy and scary so yeah hope to see you in the next one see you